This is a special presentation of Ag Day Television. The Farm Journal Legacy Project presents Leave a Legacy. And now, your host, Kevin Spafford. Welcome to Leave a Legacy. Legacy, transition, or succession. Different words that hold a similar meaning for a variety of people. This show is about everything legacy. If you own a farm, work in the operation, or anticipate a role in the family enterprise, Leave a Legacy is for you. In today's family feature, we visit with a family that looks at succession from a different point of view. Donnie DeLine brought his father into a growing farming operation as an integral part of his management team. Wes Mills will take us to visit the DeLines of Charleston, Missouri. Donnie DeLine of Charleston, Missouri lived and breathed farming as a kid, even though he did not grow up there. But his residence did not stop him from spending his formative years watching, learning, and knowing that farming was his calling. I didn't grow up on the farm uh, year round. It was a summer uh, opportunity. And I was up here in the summers at my grandparents. And uh, I, I do have a different appreciation uh, for it because I did kind of grow up on the outside of the operation. After graduating with an agricultural business degree, Donnie and his wife Christy, both Arkansas natives, headed north to Missouri to join his uncle on the farm. Within a few years, Donnie took over as farm manager. You know, I owe my uncle also for stepping aside and, and allowing me to come back. And uh, I guess it says a lot for him to step aside and, and let me start up at, at a young age, you know, at, at, uh, at uh, 27 years old to take on the, the farming operation and, and go from there uh, versus having to sit and wait for him to hit retirement age and me to be in my 40s and still be sitting there waiting. When Donnie took over, he knew early on that growing the business was essential for long-term success. Under his management, the business has grown dramatically. Acreage has increased nearly tenfold. But Donnie is adamant that his reputation be the only promotion he does for his land. This is at the core of his business and personal philosophy. Well, I want to be able to sleep at night, and uh, I, I, I try and, and do things the right way, and, and uh, I'm, I'm not out uh, to take advantage of anybody or, or to step on any toes, and I, I just feel like I sleep better, and, and uh, my, my family, you know, I, I want to I have a, 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 rep, you know, a good reputation here, and, and I, I don't want to have a reputation as a, as a land grabber or somebody that, that, uh, that grabs up everything or... or uh, or outbids a guy or calls someone's landlord. I'm just, I'm not interested in, in growing in that manner. That to me is just not uh, something I'm, I'm looking at doing. In a role reversal of sorts, Donnie brought on his dad, Bill, to assist with management duties, focusing on inputs. That support has created a circle of trust. He's helping me now uh, in, a, in a large way, and, and uh, which is just the opposite of a, a lot of my friends here that, that have fathers that are still farming and they're waiting to take on their operation. While family has played such a vital role in the successful growth of DeLine Farms, Donnie says seeking out advice from veteran farmers was also pivotal. You know, they've been there, done that, and I feel like I try and learn something every day and, and uh, don't by any means know it all. I, I, uh, you know, I, I think the, the veteran farmers and the, the older farmers and things like that uh, uh, are, are an asset as far as advice and, and what to do and what not to do. While the DeLines lean on past generations to help guide the future of the farm, Donnie and Christy don't have to worry about passing the farm on to the sixth generation just yet. With Larkin 7 and Peyton 5, the family is focused on the needs of right now. Peyton, at, even at his young age, is, is, is as excited about farming as he is, so I, I want to keep that fire burning. He does make a very strong effort to be home with the family anytime he's not, you know, in the field and um, his family is very important to him. All in all, I, I'm, I'm probably one of the luckiest guys in the world. I'm getting to do what I love to do and I'm getting to, I'm, I'm able to build up something that I can pass down to uh, my kids. I think it's a good life uh, out here and, and I, uh, I believe that that's something that, uh, that if he's willing to, to get involved, I'm going to definitely stand behind him and hope that that he does want to get involved in the operation. I, I'm not doing this just for myself. I'm doing this to someday pass on 
to him and, uh, and, and other generations down the road. Announced by the USDA in May, the Transition Incentive Program encourages retiring farmers with CRP acreage to work with aspiring farmers to bring their ground back into production. When Leave a Legacy continues, I visit with USDA Deputy Secretary Kathleen Merrigan about TIP. Pioneer Hybrid proudly continues its legacy of supporting America's farm families by sponsoring the Farm Journal Legacy Project. Every season begins with a strategy. Put the right product on the right acre. So Pioneer brings more potential to the table for more performance in the field. Every bag of Pioneer brand seed contains only diverse Pioneer genetics, most combined with advanced protection traits. All are rigorously tested to make a difference field by field. Better choices lead to better yields. Better choices start with Pioneer Hybrids. Match the right product to the right acre and you'll see results. Y-Series soybeans from Pioneer, for example. They're redefining yield potential field by field. Powered by our exclusive accelerated yield technology system. They're the next generation of high-performing Pioneer varieties with bred in pest resistance traits. It's easy to see why growers plant Pioneer brand soybean varieties on more acres than any other brand. Introducing Refuge Made Simple. New Optimum AcreMax One insect protection from Pioneer is the industry's first integrated in the bag solution for corn rootworm refuge. Every season begins with a strategy. Put the right product on the right acre. So Pioneer brings more potential to the table for more performance in the field. Every bag of Pioneer brand seed contains only diverse Pioneer genetics, most combined with advanced protection traits. All are rigorously tested to make a difference field by field. Better choices lead to better yields. Better choices start with Pioneer Hybrids. Succession planning is being supported with government programs. The Transition Incentive Program is designed to return CRP acres to production, encourage young farmers, and influence desirable practices. USDA Deputy Secretary Kathleen Merrigan and I discuss how the Transition Incentive Program works. Kathleen, thanks for joining me today. We're here to talk about the TIP program. From what I understand, it's designed to help return some CRP acres back to production help disadvantaged or beginning farmers get into production and help influence some behavior to make sure that we're doing it in a conservative and or sustainable manner. So what is TIP? It's the Transition Incentive Program, part of the Conservation Reserve Program, as you said. And our biggest challenge right now, Kevin, is getting the word out about this program. So first of all, I want to thank you for making this the feature of your show. Um, because I think it's a great program that uh, people are starting to learn about, but not quickly enough. We have $25 million that expires at the end of 2012 to use for this program, and we've only dipped in and used $3 million so far. So it's a huge program, huge opportunity for both uh, retiring farmers and beginning farmers. We've got a lot of money behind it, What's the money for and how does it work? How does the program work? Okay. So Congress in its wisdom, as part of the 2008 Farm Bill, recognized that we have an aging farm population. In fact, uh, over 65,000 farmers today are 65 years or older. Okay. It's the largest number of farmers. 75% of farmers are, are 45 years of age or older. Okay. There's probably, uh, every week when I'm out in the countryside, I meet a farmer who is perplexed in terms of how to move forward in the future. He is ready to leave farming, he's older, but he cannot in good conscience advise his children to come back after college to take over the farm because times have been tough. 
Okay. It's heartbreaking. It's nation threatening. So Congress has started to recognize that we have this aging farm population. Mm -hmm. We need to make it easier for people to enter into farming because we need people on our working lands. And so this was in a suite of initiatives they took on in 2008. It's a beauty of a program. How it works, a retiring farmer who has CRP acreage mm -hmm. that's expiring, mm -hmm. he can continue to receive CRP payments for two years beyond the beyond end of the contract. contract. Okay. If that land is transitioned over to a beginning farmer or a socially disadvantaged farmer, okay. not a relative by the way, someone who's not a relative, okay. and they can farm that land, they can use it for organic production, they can enroll and get help through the Environmental Quality Incentive Program, EQIP, they can be in the Conservation Stewardship Program. So it's, uh, there are a lot of ways that this land can be used for very good conservation and to give these beginning farmers a leg up. Okay, so we're talking about a retiring farmer, but the other side of that is our agricultural schools in the, in the United States are full of students mm -hmm. that would love to have this opportunity. How do we match the two of them up? Well, I think there's a role for universities here that has not been exploited in terms of helping be the matchmakers. Right now, how do you get into this program? How do you find out about it? So far, we have uh, finished off 225 contracts in the okay. TIP program nationwide. Uh, that's, again, about $3 million worth, uh, a few, you know, about 41,000 acres nationally. Still a lot more room to grow. I was going to say, we're just scratching the surface scratching right now. Scratching the surface because we know that uh, we have close to 32 million acres in the CRP. That's the, that's the cap. Um, and so there is a lot of land that's coming out uh, in 2010. Mm -hmm. Great opportunity for this to happen. Um, but how do you find out about this? How does the retiring farmer right. match up with the beginning farmer, right? right. Um, we don't have Facebook or whatever. We don't have a special internet matchup. And of course, broadband is a whole other topic for your show and, right. <laughs> and the difficulties in rural America. So that's not going to work. Right now, people are finding out about the program and doing the connecting up through our USDA field offices. Okay. The Farm Service Agency is okay. in charge of this program. And so people go to the local county offices, and they, there are people out in the countryside. They tend to know who's thinking about retiring, mm -hmm. who wants to get in. But the universities, back to your point, mm -hmm. I think could play a really active role in this and working with FSA. Okay, so the universities, the extension programs could be a part of this or, or at least get the word out. We've got our extension offices and things like that all across the country who serve as a resource to both retiring farmers and, and I would think beginning farmers. Mm -hmm. What are some of the drawbacks? If we could close with, here's, here's some of the limitations or drawbacks of the program, what would they be? Well, uh, it's one tool in what we need is a larger toolkit to help people okay. get in farming. When you talk about the, uh, so it's not really so much about the TIP program, but if we really want to take on this challenge of bringing in the next generation of people on our working lands, mm -hmm. when you think about what the capital costs are to get into agriculture, uh, when you think about the knowledge base that you have to have, there are a lot of hills to climb. So the TIP is, is a great program, but it alone is not going to address what is a national problem. It's you as the USDA saying, here's some help, but for a beginning farmer, you still have to be a business owner, still need to have a business plan, and you still need to look at all of the business opportunities, both, both positive and negative, out there before you jump. Yeah, Correct? well, I, some of my friends in Farm Credit they describe they've done some seminars around the country with young people and they, they call out in the crowd and they say, how many of you want to be farmers when you graduate? And all the hands go up and they say, that's great. And how many of you have a business plan? And only a few hands are raised. So we have a whole new generation of people that we need to bring in our working lands. My boss, Secretary Tom Vilsack, when he spoke at the inaugural hearing on the Senate Agriculture Committee's 2012 Farm Bill, uh, he really zoomed right in on this beginning farmer issue, and I think we're going to be talking a lot about it over the coming year. Kathleen, thank you very much. Thanks for having me.
On Chalk Talk, we'll continue our conversation and idea storm how we can encourage young agripreneurs to partner with retiring landowners. Introducing Refuge Made Simple. New Optimum AcreMax One insect protection from Pioneer is the industry's first integrated in the bag solution for corn rootworm refuge. Match the right product to the right acre and you'll see results. Y Series soybeans from Pioneer, for example, they're redefining yield potential field by field. Powered by our exclusive accelerated yield technology system, they're the next generation of high performing Pioneer varieties with bred in pest resistance traits. It's easy to see why growers plant Pioneer brand soybean varieties on more acres than any other brand. On the agronomic terrain, the best outcomes depend on the best advice. A pioneer sales professional realizes no two fields are alike, so no one product is the answer. We offer decades of collective wisdom supported by hundreds of agronomy experts with state-of-the-art knowledge. So choose the right product for the right acre. Choose the people and the company who are out there with you every day, every season. Every year, it's important to look at the big picture to determine your best crop options. Pioneer has the wide-angle vision and the focused resources to help you create the most from every acre. Collaborate in a big way for big success. Pioneer. Science with service. Delivering success. Kathleen, let's assume I'm a young graduating or soon to graduate student down here at Purdue. I'm one of those people that put up my hand. I want to be a farmer. What do I do with this? How do I take advantage of this opportunity? Well, first of all, hey, great, you're graduating from Purdue. You're already in a good, you're in good shape. You've got a great ag background. Um, and we need smart, young people who are ambitious in American agriculture. What a lot of people don't understand is that 90,000 of USDA's 114,000 employees are out in the field. They're in our field offices all across the country. Okay. So I would, as a first stop, knock on the door of the Farm Service Agency local county office. Okay. They know the people in the area. They know what Farmer Brown's doing and Farmer Smith, and they've been working with them for years. Okay. Extension is another place to go. Uh, our extension agents tend to know a lot of the people in the community and have a sense of how things are, are working. Um, there may be clubs in the area. You may have, uh, your parents may know someone. There is not a single pathway. Okay. And so I implore people to be creative and aggressive in pursuing this opportunity. So I often call these young folks agripreneurs or aspiring agripreneurs. So you have to be entrepreneurial about this and, and maybe it takes knocking on some doors asking some questions, putting yourself out there a little bit, and making your wants known or, or your needs known, is it? Absolutely, you know, knocking on doors, it may sound crazy, but I can't imagine a farmer who wouldn't be excited if someone knocked on his door, even if he's not ready to retire, mm -hmm. or she, mm -hmm. to see a young person with that ambition and that drive to be a part of the folks that take care of our working lands in this country. Um, I think that they would be very receptive, and maybe it's not their farm, but they may get on the phone and call up a neighbor and say, hey, I know you've been thinking about it. I just met this young person, and I think you might want to meet this person too. So again, this is a, a big program. We have $25 million. We've only spent $3 million, and by the end of 2012, I don't want any money sitting there not being used. Well said. Thank you very much, Kathleen. Thank you. Succession planning and a successful transition rest on leadership. On each episode of Leave a Legacy, I feature a leader that possesses the admirable characteristics of true leadership. 
Today we'll profile one who left an indelible mark. Legends of Leadership is next. Introducing Refuge Made Simple. New Optimum AcreMax One insect protection from Pioneer is the industry's first integrated in the bag solution for corn rootworm refuge. Match the right product to the right acre and you'll see results. Y Series soybeans from Pioneer, for example, they're redefining yield potential field by field. Powered by our exclusive accelerated yield technology system, they're the next generation of high-performing Pioneer varieties with bred in pest resistance traits. It's easy to see why growers plant Pioneer brand soybean varieties on more acres than any other brand. Every year, it's important to look at the big picture to determine your best crop options. Pioneer has the wide-angle vision and the focused resources to help you create the most from every acre. Collaborate in a big way for big success. Pioneer, science with service, delivering success. Every season begins with a strategy. Put the right product on the right acre. So Pioneer brings more potential to the table for more performance in the field. Every bag of Pioneer brand seed contains only diverse Pioneer genetics, most combined with advanced protection traits. All are rigorously tested to make a difference field by field. Better choices lead to better yields. Better choices start with Pioneer hybrids. Tommy Dell was a budding leader in agriculture. He had a passion for his profession, loved working in the family operation, and looked forward to helping it grow. Tommy died this fall in a farming accident. You may recall the Dells as one of our case study families. This loss will dramatically affect the family and the farm. As a person, Tommy was generous to a fault. He loved family, enjoyed life, and lived his dream. I'm not as, as organized as I need to be, but I'm also, you know, which is a good thing on some things because when it, last minute projects or something like that, I guess under pressure it's better, so I don't know. Uh, and I'm very outgoing apparently, <laughs> so. Tommy loved life and enjoyed simple pleasures. The farm, working with his family, and growing the operation were top of mind to Tommy. Uh, planting and harvesting, um, I do all the seed buying and, uh, you know, projections of what it's going to make and between Dad and I and Uncle Roger farm the 2,600 acres. He was passionate about farming, involved in the industry, and was very in tune to things that may affect the operation. We know we have problems that we got to get through. And I think it's, this is the best way for us to do that. You know, it's hard to keep it going for the future anyway, so we have to do it the right way. I think it, it's, things are getting figured out, I think. I think um, we weren't worried about you know, losing so much money milking cows and everybody wasn't fighting over what was going on with that. It was, it, things have progressed greatly since last year this time. And it's, it's kind of an enjoyable spring. Uh, we, I think everybody had fun. Shannon took over the books. Shannon took over the books. So uh, my wife, yep. Yep. Uh, now I have a new boss. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> not that I already had. Yes, she just yes, in. yes. She uh, <laughs> she keeps us keeps everybody straight now. Not just me, I guess. So. The greatest tribute to a leader is the people left behind. You have uh, some children too. What are their ages? Uh, seven and five, or excuse me, they'll be five and seven in July. But, okay. Uh, Grady is seven and my little girl Josie will be five. So it's a little bit early to say whether they're going to be uh, in the farm or not. Yeah. But he, he tells me he wants to be a farmer, but uh, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. My goal is to have everybody in this as happy as we can be with the way we set things up. We all enjoy what we're doing and we want to keep farming, but we got to figure out a way to do it profitably and 
keep everybody happy through the next generations. Tommy may be gone, but his influence will live on in those who knew him best. He gave willingly and inspired others to enjoy life and take pleasure in the simple things. To his wife Shannon, his kids Grady and Josie, parents Greg and Della, to his brothers, and all who loved and appreciated him, our hearts go out to you. Introducing Refuge Made Simple. New Optimum AcreMax One insect protection from Pioneer is the industry's first integrated in the bag solution for corn rootworm refuge. Every season begins with a strategy. Put the right product on the right acre. So Pioneer brings more potential to the table for more performance in the field. Every bag of Pioneer brand seed contains only diverse Pioneer genetics, most combined with advanced protection traits. All are rigorously tested to make a difference field by field. Better choices lead to better yields. Better choices start with Pioneer hybrids. Match the right product to the right acre and you'll see results. Y-Series soybeans from Pioneer, for example. They're redefining yield potential field by field. Powered by our exclusive accelerated yield technology system, they're the next generation of high-performing Pioneer varieties with bred and pest resistance traits. It's easy to see why growers plant Pioneer brand soybean varieties on more acres than any other brand. Introducing Refuge Made Simple. New Optimum AcreMax One insect protection from Pioneer is the industry's first integrated in the bag solution for corn rootworm refuge. Captioning is brought to you by Optimum Brand Innovations from Pioneer Hybrid. Science with service, delivering success. Planning for succession is not a do-it-yourself project, but you can learn from our family features, listen to our professional guests, follow our legends, and utilize some of the tools we make available in our workshops, on the web, and in the magazines. Succession planning is a choice, and you make a difference. Download the Goals Clarification Worksheet from the Tools section at FarmJournalLegacyProject.com. Respond to the questions and share your answers with other family members. You may discover the basis for a family meeting and the reasons for a comprehensive succession plan. For Leave a Legacy, I'm Kevin Spafford.